boy, do I have some good news today. The wait is finally over. Jace and the Wheeled Warriors is complete on DVD. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Mill Creek for finally making this happen. As you know, I picked up the Sout Factory set many, many moons ago, and I've been waiting and waiting literally for about five years for this. Volume 2 of Jace and the Wheeled Warriors, the final 33 episodes, the series is complete. This is it. This is the whole thing. Shout Factory set for Volume 1, Mill Creek set for Volume 2. Wow, they did it. They were true to their word, and they made it happen. So, we're going to talk about this a little bit today, and some other cool cartoon stuff from Mill Creek, today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. Boy, Mill Creek has really shown Jason the Wheeled Warriors fans a lot of love. Because um, not only did they do a re-release of this set, which actually I have yet to pick up, but I'm going to pick it up simply to show support for the releases and to, you know, have it consistent with this. Um, but uh, they actually finished it. Uh, and that's fantastic. It took a while. Uh, they did finish Cops a lot faster than they finished Jace, but... Uh, you know, God bless them. They did it. They came through for us and finally made it happen. So a huge, huge round of applause and thank you to Mill Creek for finally doing what uh, sadly Shout Factory was unable to do um, just because, you know, I, I see a lot of flack being thrown Shout Factory's way for Mill Creek picking up where you know, succeeding where they failed and things like that. It, that's not what it is at all. You have to understand, Shout Factory produces premium sets. They do deluxe collector's edition sets, much higher quality, spread across more discs so they can use higher bit rates and stuff like that, and they're more expensive. They have a different business model than Mill Creek. Mill Creek is a budget company. I mean, they're designed to create budget releases. Um, I mean, for example... If we just do a quick comparison here, if you look at the the Shout Factory set, you have it in a slip cover, so you know nicer packaging. You got two individual uh, discs with, uh, or sorry, uh, slim cases, and then inside you've got unique package art for the discs and the uh, individual cases. So there's a lot more to, I mean, just the uh, the packaging side of it here you've got a lot more expense involved in producing these. I mean, these are supposed to be premium editions for collectors and fans. That's what Shout Factory does. That's what they've always done. So they're more expensive, and as a result, they need to make more sales in order to meet their targets and do further releases down the road. Now, Mill Creek, on the other hand, um, they do budget releases. So, yes, they have a lot of the same licenses, but... You know, the packaging is nowhere near on the same level, so they cut costs that way. Uh, they put more episodes per disc, so Jace Volume 1 here from Shout Factory was three was four discs. From uh, Mill Creek, it's three discs, all with the same disc art. So, you know, they you have to understand they're not the same company. They don't do things the same way. So I'd really like to see all of the flack being thrown Shout Factory's way stop because they tried, and it's actually just simply down to numbers, uh, because there was not enough sales, not enough fans uh, rallied to support the releases, you know, of Cops and Jace. They basically sat on their asses and said, oh, I'm going to wait for a complete series set. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks to you, we didn't get the set complete from Shout Factory five years ago, because you were just going to sit on your ass and wait. Well... If you sat on your ass and waited, now you can get the Mill Creek set. So, there you go. I guess you got what you wanted in the end, but the rest of us, you know, tried to make it happen five years earlier. Anyway, I've done rants about that in the past. We won't get into it now. 
So, at long last, we have Jace Complete on DVD. Now, Mill Creek has really gone out of their way to show Jace fans a lot of love. I mean, they really promoted the heck out of this thing. Uh, a lot of their other higher-profile cartoon releases would have a bonus episode of Jace included. Um, they put out all of these collections here. We have, well, of course, Volume 1. We'll just take a quick look at the covers here. Uh, they put out Volume 1. And they also put out this, which is the best of Jace and the Wheeled Warriors, which is a 10-episode single-disc release. So if you just want sort of a sampler of the show, you can check that out. Um, nice thing about these samplers is they're really cheap. I mean, you can probably find them for like $3 if you hunt around a little bit. Uh, so if you want to just get a taste of a show before you commit to buying a whole series, you can check those out. And then they also did this, which I've talked about before. We have uh, the cartoon pack which has uh 10 episodes of pole position 10 ep that's the same 10 episodes of jace that are on the best of disc and then 10 episodes of cops as well so you can actually get a sampler of both of those shows that i've talked about quite a bit in the past plus pole position which is pretty cool so um yeah they've definitely shown jace a lot of love and um it's it's thanks to us the fans buying those sets that they finally put out the last volume. I have a couple other cartoon sets that I picked up recently I wanted to talk about very briefly. We have uh, this one, the complete series of Street Sharks. Yeah, which I know is one that a lot of you have been waiting for for a very long time. Now, I had not seen this before, so it's entirely new to me, uh, but it's one that I'm enjoying watching with Rosie. It's a lot of fun. Uh, she's getting more into the action adventure cartoons and stuff now, so this is something that uh, that we can enjoy together. Um, and this one, actually, speaking of showing obscure shows a bit of love, has a bonus episode of Cops on it as as the one and only extra. So this is pretty cool. It's basically uh, it's a four disc set with all forty episodes. It actually does list the episodes on the discs. So very nice indeed. And once again, of course, we have the paper sleeves. That's just the way Mill, Mill Creek does things. So I say Mill Factory. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah, there you go. <laughs> Not that you can read them, but... And there we go. Yeah, as you can see, I haven't got to the, the last few discs yet. But um, but yeah, I mean, once again, Mill Creek comes through, and, and in this case, it was a sufficiently short series. Uh, this one was only 40 episodes. I know 65 episodes was sort of the norm for cartoons for a very long time, like especially throughout the 80s and 90s. That was sort of like the standard minimum number of episodes of a show that you needed in order to put it into daily syndication. So it would be showing it five days a week, Monday through Friday, for a 13-week cycle, meaning you could show each episode four times over the course of a 52-week season. Um, but for some reason, in the uh, you know late 90s, early 2000s, they reduced that number to 40. So there was a lot of shows that only had 40 episodes as their maximum. Um, you know, Mighty Max, I think, was the first one I saw that had 40 episodes as the maximum, which, sadly, we haven't seen a DVD release of. So, hey, Mill Creek, if, you, if there's any chance you can get us uh, Mighty Max, you'll make a lot of us very, very happy. Uh, Street Tracks was another one. Uh, Extreme Ghostbusters was another one. Uh, there was just a ton of shows that only had 40 episodes. Godzilla of the series, the one based on the, the 98 movie. Yeah, crazy stuff. So anyway, yeah, so you can definitely pick up uh, Street Sharks. That is available now, and you can find it pretty affordably if you shop around a little bit. Um, yeah, and finally, I picked up a little something that I've been wanting to get for a while, and some of you might be scratching your head when you first see this and thinking, like, well, why did you get that again? You already have it on two other releases. I'm, of course, talking about Dungeons & Dragons, the animated series. This is the Mill Creek complete series set, and... All 27 episodes spread across three discs. So this is actually a slightly higher quality set than what they usually do, because uh, often they'll cram as many as 11 or 12 episodes per disc just to save on disc space and cut costs and save, pass those savings on to you, the consumer. Um, but this one, it was you know 27 episodes divided nicely into three discs. It was a little too many to cram onto two. So uh, they spread it out, and you get a slightly higher bit rate on this. So quality-wise, this one's actually pretty good pretty good. So the big question, of course, is why the heck did I get it when I already have the old BCI Eclipse set, which is fantastic, and thanks to David Bunch of Numbers, have the UK set as well. Now the reason I got the UK set originally was a couple of reasons. I mean, first off, 
Uh, one of the issues with the BCI set was all of the season three episodes had their music changed, and this has been a big bone of contention with fans for a very long time. Um, however, the UK release has all the original music intact. The other reason to get the UK release is it actually has all different extras. It has completely different extras from the from the um, BCI set, so there was you know a couple reasons to want to want to get it. Um, and for a long time, if we wanted the original music for season three, season three has one of the all-time favorite fan ep uh, fan favorite episodes, the Dragon's Graveyard, which is when the kids basically decide they've had enough with Venger and they want to uh, take him out. So they go to get Tiamat's help, and uh, it's just an epic, epic episode. So uh, apparently, the original score for that is vastly superior to the uh, more sort of canned music that they used in the BCI set. Well, good news, Mill Creek comes through again. Their version of the Dungeons & Dragons Complete Series set has all the original music intact. So, I honestly have no idea what the problem was when BCI did it, because other than that one issue, it's a really super deluxe, beautiful set. I've done a couple of videos about it in the past, and um, I'll put the links in the description, actually, if you want to check those out. I'll also put links in the description for all of my previous Jason the Wheeled Warriors episodes. Um, I've talked about the show a lot of times in the past, and I've tried to keep you up to date as much as I can on the uh, forthcoming releases and when the initial announcement came out that Mill Creek was doing it. Um, I'll put all those links in the description. So please read the description. There's cool stuff in there that you probably want to check out if you're fans of any and all of this stuff. Um... Yeah, so anyway, basically the Mill Creek set, again, very affordable. I got this for $5, brand new, factory sealed from Amazon. So I think the most I've seen it go for on Amazon is $6. So five or six bucks, you too can have the complete series of the 80s Dungeons & Dragons cartoon with all the original music intact. Now in terms of extras, this is a bare bones set. So sadly, none of the extras have carried over from the BCI or UK sets. However, uh, it does have all 27 episodes intact, uncut, the way they were meant to be seen. So, not a bad deal for five or six bucks. Um, yeah, well, that's pretty much it uh, for today. Just wanted to give you the good news about Jason the Wheeled Warriors and talk about these other cartoon sets that I got as well. Um, really thrilled. Now, I just got to find the time to sit down and have a Jace marathon and watch the whole darn series from beginning to end. I should mention, actually, you know, as this is 33 episodes, this is also 33 episodes. So, yes, there is a one episode overlap. If you have the Shout Factory set and you're just looking to get Volume 2 of the Mill Creek set to complete it, there will be a one episode overlap. Um, for some reason, I don't know why they did it that way. I don't know why they didn't just do the same number of episodes, but whatever. Who cares? It's finished. It doesn't matter. You can mix and match however you want now. You've got them all. <laughs> Alrighty. Can you tell I'm excited? Yeah, th this has been like my holy grail for a very long time. I cannot begin to express how thrilled I am to finally have this series complete on DVD. And I am going to marathon the hell out of it when I get the chance. So, yeah. That is it from me to you for now. So, lots more cartoon goodness from Mill Creek. Please support this company. It is such a good company and is bringing us all the stuff we've been wanting for years and lots more in the mix. Um, I've got some more Mill Creek stuff on the way, actually, that I'll be talking about once it arrives. I don't know where, where that's at. But, uh, yeah, so expect some more Mill Creek goodness in the uh, near future. Cartoon Madness. Mill Creek. Gotta love them. Alrighty, that is it for me to you for now. So until next time, thanks for watching and sayonara.